Hey, hi guys, welcome to Simplifying Tech and Programming. So in today's session, we are going to check how we can install the latest version of Java, that is Java 20, plus uh, we can uh, how we can set Java home path into environmental variables, and then how we can uh, run the sample program by using Java 20. As you can see in the screen, so this is like a timeline how Java evolved, like from Java 8 to Java 20, and uh, according to this timeline, how many features it has delivered. So if you can see like uh, every six months Java has released new version of uh, JDK and uh, like uh, this, these are number of uh, features they have introduced uh, after every six months. So you can see there is a main version that is a Java 8 version. So it is a most stable version and uh, most of the legacy applications are running on Java 8 still. Then in Java 9 also there are like 91 features they have released and uh, if we talk about long term support then uh, JDK 8 is having the LTS version that is a long term support version then JDK 11 is a major stable version with the LTS and then JDK 17 version as a LTS. So Java 20 is not a LTS version but uh, after 6 months in September 2023 so there is a plan to release the LTS version of Java that is a JDK 21. Question coming into your mind like what is LTS? So LTS basically LTS means long term support and uh, provided support uh, ending date. So if you can see Java 8 that is LTS version. So the support is available till Java 2030. So for Java 20, so there is a no uh, support available. So this is a premier support available till, the, uh, till September 23 only. Okay, so this 21 LTS version. So it is planned to have support till 2031. So Java's ability to boost performance, stability and security continues to make the world's most popular programming language. So now let's see how we can install uh, uh, Java 20. Okay, so go to browser and type uh, JDK 20 download. So go to this uh, first uh, link, Java 20 archive downloads. Okay, so if you can come here, then this is the Java 20 archive downloads. And uh, here, like uh, we have to search for Windows 64 installer. So you have to choose as per your machine configuration. So, so my machine is a 64 bit. So I'm choosing this 159 MB, uh, this uh, downloader. So just click on download. Okay, so our installer is downloaded. So just double click on this. So this is the setup wizard for Java 20. So let's say next. So it is asking for uh, the path where it has to install. So we will keep as a default. So say next. Okay, so Java development kit is successfully installed. So let's say close. Now let's verify. So go to command line. Okay, here uh, type Java minus minus version. Okay, so you can see this uh, Java 20 version is uh, installed. So now we, we need to set the Java home version. So I think it is automatically picked up uh, Java home version, but uh, still we can uh, make sure that uh, the environmental variable are set while working with the development. So go to environmental variable here choose this option environmental variables and uh, in the bottom so you can search for path okay so this is the path you can say edit and uh, here just you have to add the path okay so which path we have to add so wherever is uh, java install okay so you have to get this path where uh, dedicated the pin path and uh, copy this go to environmental variables say new paste it here okay let's say okay and okay okay so our uh, jdk is inst okay so in order to write a sample java program so we have to create one file so we can create the text file and uh, name it as a hello java 20 dot java okay let's enter so we, we are changing the extension of the file from text to java so it is asking this so let's say s yes. yeah so you can see so this is this is the type is java java file okay so now let's open this into notepad so here we need to create one class so we'll name it as a hello java 20 so okay inside this uh, we have to create uh, one main method so this is the entry point of the application like uh, this main method is a static method 
which uh, returns nothing so that's why it is a void and it is accept accepting the command line arguments via this string array okay and inside this we can write one print statement in order to like run our java program verify our java program so this is the system class so it is a predefined uh, java class which uh, provides the out function like output stream and uh, this is the, like uh, print ln so it prints the statement that we are provided to this method okay so we are writing welcome to java 20 world so let's save this program so in this menu bar so type cmd okay so here we need to just compile this program by using java c and the name of file so hello java 20 dot java let's enter okay so it is compiled successfully you can see here the dot class file is created so there is a two-step method like uh, first uh, it will create the class file of the java and then it will run this class file via your uh, gre okay let's run this java program java and hello java yeah so here we go so welcome to java 20 world so that is our program okay so whatever we have again welcome to java 20 world so it is printed here so this way we have learned how to install uh, latest version of java that is a java 20 and how we can uh, run the sample program by using java 20 so stay tuned for further interesting sessions thanks a lot for watching